Growing up as a kid, I always wanted to have big muscles and superhuman strength, just like in the cartoons. I would beg my dad to take me to a real life gym. He said that if I did 20 push-ups every single day for a whole week, then he would take me. So every morning I would wake up and struggle through 20 push-ups. Seven days later, once I had completed the challenge, my dad said to me, you don't need all those fancy weights. Look how much stronger you've already gotten in a single week. We never went to the gym. And at the time I was disappointed. However, I also understood what my dad was trying to teach me. We don't need a huge gym full of professional equipment in order to grow big muscles and build superhuman strength. But more often than not, people use their lack of gym access as an excuse to not even try. And of all the thousands of excuses I've heard in my lifetime, the most common would have to be, yeah, but I don't have a pull-up bar. And that is why I decided to purchase the world's cheapest pull-up bar to prove that anyone is capable of building strength with a simple investment of $10.79 with free shipping from Amazon. <sighs> Let's ignore the fact that this is a massage table and get into the world's cheapest pull-up bar, shall we? So without further ado, this is the world's cheapest... And naturally, it arrived with a hole already in it. So I may call it damage, I call it art. Ooh, sounds good. Notice the yellow racing stripe, extra speed, faster delivery. Appreciate it, prime. Notice the race, open this bad boy up. Okay, two bars. Instructions, <laughs> won't be needing them, am I right, boys? We also have, whoa, they even give you a hammer, that's pretty cool. <laughs> they even give you an ax. Oh, power drill, I mean. Oh, what? Oh my God, there's a, there's a didgeridoo in here. I wonder what this is for. Perfect, thank you. Fred Darrington, everyone. Okay, but in all seriousness, let's put this thing together, shall we? And there we have it guys, that is the world's cheapest pull-up bar. Super easy to assemble, even an old lady could do it. The next thing to do is to test this bad boy out, so let's go do it. Okay, the $10 pull-up bar, let's finally try it out. I found myself a doorway, should be simple enough. I'm doing it wrong already. <laughs> Up on the ledge, I can tell already, it's, uh, it's not sitting on there very well. Fresh door frame, let's try it out, shall we? Not great, it's not one size fits all, so we have to kind of figure it out. Generally, I want it up there. That's super, super strong. It's not gonna fall off. However, if we want it to be there, you'll notice the gap here. If we put something here, we fix this gap. That means the structural integrity will be much, much better. So let's go figure this issue out and then we'll give it another shot, shall we? So I found a couple of bits of wood in the garage along with this little bit of rubber. I just simply taped it on, nothing too complex. Now I'm doing the other side, you're watching me put a bit of tape on, simple as that. Boom shakalaka, how good does that look? Let's test it out and let's see if these little chocks of wood uh, have actually made a difference. All right. Oh, looking good. I'm pretty happy actually. And look, to be honest, it's taken me a few extra materials in the backyard, and another 15 minutes of my time. So no excuses guys, let's test it out and actually put some weight on it, shall we? Now to truly push the limits of this pull-up bar, I'm gonna test it with five different exercises. Starting with pull-ups, then abdominals, then a front lever, a lache, and finishing up with none other than a muscle-up. And just for reference, I'm about 85 kilos, which is like 190 pounds. I'm definitely on the heavier end for something like a $10 pull-up bar from Amazon. So if this thing doesn't break on me, then you guys got no excuses. Woo! 10 bucks, that's actually awesome. I think we can officially tick off pull-ups. Let's test it with a few other things, shall we? Let's shirt more power. Let's test out some, Let's see how it goes. Okay, well it definitely helps with an ab workout. We've tested that now. I think it's time to step it up a notch. Okay, while I am currently working on my front levers, I think it's worth giving it a shot. Just so you know, I'm not very good at front levers. I am working on it. Hopefully I'll have a video on that soon, but here it goes. Ah, oh, I can't do, I can't do. 
as a tall guy. Front levers are not my thing, but I'm working on it and I'll come back to you with some results, hopefully soon. All right, Olivia's gonna try skin the cat. Ooh, nice. Nice. Two thumbs up, one thumb up. One and a half. <laughs> okay, the lache test. Intimidating. Let's try it again, shall we? Swinging. Wow. Slightly scary, but we managed to do it. Tick it off the list. Bing! Way. Okay, now for the ultimate test. The muscle up. Don't know how it's gonna go, but we're gonna at least slightly attempt it. Fingers crossed. Safety first. Safety first. I'm gonna try muscle up. I don't think it's gonna work. The reason being, usually when you do a muscle up, you have to lean your chest over the bar. And I don't think I'll be able to do that because obviously there's a thing called a wall right here. But we're gonna give it a shot anyway. <laughs> I want to like lean forward, but I'm just going to bash my head against the wall. It's difficult. Uh, did you want to try? Get a feel for it? Liv's going to try. Oh, she's going, she's going there. Are you what is going on? <laughs> It worked all right a little bit. <laughs> I don't think that counts. But I'm using my muscles to get out. <laughs> Come on. No! You all right? I can totally do this. Oh, muscle up! Oh, Five. Oh! That counts, doesn't it? Limiting beliefs. Limiting beliefs are thoughts, opinions that one believes to be the absolute truth. They tend to have a negative impact on one's life by stopping them moving forward and growing on a personal and professional level. If you are under the belief that you can't grow muscles and build strength without professional equipment, then hopefully by now you've realized the equipment isn't limiting you, your beliefs are. How bad do you want that body you've always dreamed of? With the ability to take on any physical challenge at any time. You live in a world where you can literally pay $10 and a few days from now, you could be training all of the skills you saw in this video. So stop complaining and start training. And while you're at it, think of all the other beliefs which you have, which may be limiting your personal growth. I used to believe that I could never create a successful YouTube channel. So subscribe to help me crush that limiting belief. Love you so much.